Hey, what is going on, guys? In today's video, we're going to have a conversation with Infantry Rifle, as it has received a major overhaul this season and has gone from being a terrible weapon that was arguably the worst last season to now being a genuinely competitive option that you could take over every other AR depending on your playstyle. So we'll cover both the changes to statistics as well as where it fits in the meta depending on the way you play. And with that, let's go over the statistics change. So the biggest change is the conversion from projectile to hit scan. Now, what does that mean exactly? In season seven, we had a projectile based system, meaning that when you fired the infantry rifle, the bullet did not instantly travel. Rather, it had a certain travel speed, similar to like a hunting rifle, where it had both drop and you would have to lead your target as the bullet would take some time to get there. At close range, this doesn't matter a ton, but at long range, it becomes more and more noticeable how long the bullet takes to travel to your uh, to its destination. And you ha would have to continue aiming higher and higher relative to where you're trying to aim. That's a serious problem as well. That's fine for the snipers. All the ARs are hit scan, meaning that it's kind of hard to justify having to deal with the extra steps to aiming with the infantry rifle when you can just use a heavy AR that still did great damage and was super consistent as well. Um, infantry rifle was not consistent if you had high ping. If you're on controller, aim assist does not work well with uh, projectile based rifles. It was just not a good weapon, but this season it's hit scan. That means it matches the standard AR, silenced uh, AK, where the bullet is going to travel instantly and there's going to be no drop. This is massively more reliable, as now you just keep your crosshair aimed on your opponent rather than trying to predict where they're going. So that's a big buff. Now what comes with that buff though is you're going to have an introduction of damage fall off. Previously there was no damage fall off, so you did the maximum damage at close range, the same as long range. Now you do less damage at long range, but honestly, the infantry rifle, it's not that big of a deal because the damage falloff curve is less aggressive than the other ARs. The other ARs do two-thirds damage at max range. Infantry rifle is doing more than that, so it's overall not the biggest deal. Definitely noticeable, but it's not the end of the world. Next, let's talk about the rarity adjustment. Previously, the infantry rifle was gray, green, blue. Now it's green, blue, purple, gold. In terms of raw strength, rarity itself doesn't necessarily matter. But what does matter is that it's going to be less common as you no longer have a gray variant, you have purple, gold. So you're not going to see it constantly like you were in season seven. Finally, the damage was adjusted by minus five at equal rarity. So previously we had 41, 43, 45, gray, green, blue. Now we have 38, 40 for green, blue, and then 42, 44 for purple, gold. So at the same rarity, a minus five nerf, definitely pretty significant. Um, you know, that's a major nerf. That's also a nerf to DPS. But because you got hit scan now, honestly, I, I don't. It makes it fair, but honestly, the infantry rifle is so much better. I wouldn't really worry about the damage nerf. The one thing to note, though, is that the green infantry rifle is significantly worse than the other three because it does less than 40 damage, meaning you need an extra shot to take someone out from 200 health. So that is worth noting. But the blue infantry, it's not that biggest deal, honestly, going from 45 to 40. It's noticeable, but not the end of the world because it's the same number of shots from 200 health. Now, with the balances out of the way, Let's talk about where it fits into the overall meta. Honestly, this AR meta is very diverse and interesting, and it really depends on the way you play. The infantry rifle is definitely a long-range playstyle, so if you're going to be taking the infantry, you're probably going to be someone that wants to carry a long-range AR. You're less likely to carry a sniper because your AR is working better at long-range, and you're more likely to carry an SMG to make up for the close-range situations where the infantry just isn't that good. So it's not necessarily a direct competitor against the SCAR in a sense, because the SCAR works much better at close range at the sacrifice of long range. Silenced AR, also kind of in that camp. Really your closest competitors are the AK and the Scoped AR. Scoped AR versus Infantry, it's interesting, because the Scoped AR is super consistent. It gives you that scope, which helps you aim at long range. But the Infantry Rifle has a much higher DPS, uh, fires a little bit faster, does noticeably more damage i think the infantry is honestly the better choice than the scope dr not that the scope dr is bad per se but it's not like the scope dr has a close range advantage so overall if you can use the infantry and you, you can aim without that scope i think the infantry rifle will serve you better um the only real advantage scope dr has is that magazine advantage which is nice but i still think the infantry is probably the better choice for most of you in terms of this infantry versus the ak i think for Anyone who plays on keyboard or controller but not L2 spamming, the infantry makes more sense. At equal rarity, that's the same damage, but you have a slightly faster rate of fire. You're much more accurate um, when aiming down sights. 
you have a much quicker reload. I think the infantry is the right choice. The one thing, though, is that the magazine is much smaller than infantry, so you're going to spend a lot more time reloading than you would with the heavy AR. Despite that, I still think for keyboard players and controller without L2, the infantry is the better choice. Now, if you do like the L2 aggressively, though, I actually think the heavy AR is still the better choice because the heavy AR still works really well with using aim assist, while the infantry rifle is just awkward to try and use L2 with. I don't know exactly what it is, but the heavy just works perfectly. Well, the infantry, I think, has to do with the way ADS is. It's just awkward to use, and overall, I think the heavy AR is the better choice there. So, looking at it as a whole, I think it really depends. For the infantry to be the right choice for you, you have to like a long-range play style, and you would have to not be an aggressive L2 user on controller, and I think the infantry rifle, in that case, could be the best AR. Um, but if you were to just tell me what AR do you recommend... I'd overall say the SCAR is probably the better choice for most of you because the SCAR is more versatile. It, you don't need the SMG when you have a SCAR. And if you like to run a sniper, it would make more sense to run shotgun SCAR sniper than shotgun infantry sniper because then you don't really have a good close range structure destroyer. If that makes sense, I think the SCAR is overall the more versatile option. But the infantry is definitely a competitive option. And if it's the gun you really like and you vibe with it well, I 100% think it's a valid choice. And with that, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll catch you in the next one.